Some of auto racing's biggest stars are ready for a summer long showdown. Among them, Indy 500 winners, NASCAR champs, and Hall of Famers. It's a little blast from the past with some new wheels. Brad Brown has a closer look in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. It's a fresh new take on an old idea. A dozen racing stars from across the board, stock cars, open wheelers, dirt trackers. Put them in equally designed cars and wheel them around some of the country's legendary tracks. For a previous generation, you'd be thinking of the IROC series. This summer, SRX is ready for its first green flag. I feel like this is the same thing with SRX. Uh, bringing as many drivers from as many different series as we can get uh, that truly belong and, and truly have proven that they deserve to be where they're at. The Superstar Racing Experience is the brainchild of Tony Stewart and NASCAR Championship Crew Chief Ray Evernham. Born out of the IROC model of the 80s and 90s, they're set to go for the next six summer Saturdays. This car and, and this race was particularly designed for a driver to have to be able to figure that out. And everybody that's tested these cars have, have kind of said the same thing. So we feel a very, very unique situation here. The cars are designed like short track late models, a staple of Midwest racing for decades. We wanted to build a car that was controlled by the driver and not easy to drive. These cars are, these cars are not going to be easy to drive anywhere. Stewart, Kanan, Castroneves, a roster of racing legends spanning a generation. The likes of Willie T. Ribs, Michael Waltrip, Paul Tracy in the mix as well. It, it's awesome. I think people are going to have so much fun. I mean, Ed was asking me a couple of questions, and then Mark obviously got to try a late model, I think. He was just saying, so it'll be fun. Look, we're talking about amazing former champions and people that did incredible in the motorsport and racing against each other. So it's just because we're all passionate about racing. That's why you're racing again together. And the six tracks where they'll be racing, decades of history there as well. All of it under the lights? Yeah, should make for a fun show each time out. Having guys like this that are great race car drivers and putting us all together uh, in equal cars, I think is going to be a lot of fun and I think it's going to uh, you see the personalities in their driving styles, and I think that's going to show up really well. The debut is this Saturday in Connecticut, a race at Eldora in a couple weeks, and they'll be at Lucas Oil Raceway in Brownsburg on July 3rd. The six-race set will wind up with a Nashville race for the championship, and if it all goes well, there could be more dates added for a 2022 season. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.